So the government is brewing up how it wants to take total control over everything. What you do, what you buy, how much money you do make, what you spend it on. They want total control over everything. And they're brewing up the perfect brew to make sure that this can happen. And we're going to talk about that today. Now, what else is going on? in this world that we live in here in the United States. You got Walmart. Well, they just announced, guess what folks? They're closing stores. Now, they did say that they are closing these particular stores because they're not making any money. Okay. So it has nothing to do with maybe not having enough products to put on the shelves to keep the stores full. Hmm. Kind of a little fishy if you ask me, but this is what they're saying. They're saying that they're closing these select stores because they're not meeting their profit margins. Well, then are we on a roller coaster ride here, folks? Because they're probably going to start seeing that there's going to be other stores that aren't making the profit either because they're not maybe getting the supplies they need to put on the shelves to sell. If it isn't on the shelf, you can't make a profit. Now, can you? So you're going to start seeing that the larger super Walmarts are going to be sticking around and the smaller little Walmarts are not. Mark my words. And it's also on demographic area, depending on where those stores are. All right. You also have what is going on um, with China. You know, everything is still in lockdown over there. You got all the ports are closed. Uh, trucks aren't coming into Shanghai. They're not leaving Shanghai and they're not coming into Shanghai. They're not bringing in goods. The ports are totally shut down. Nothing's being loaded on ships or unloaded off ships. So what does that mean for the rest of the world? It's a perfect storm. The one thing you have to understand, folks, is, is they are in control. Now, one would think the Biden administration just announced the other day that he wanted 33 more billion dollars to be sending to Ukraine for military supplies and all that kind of stuff. And I do understand the reasoning behind wanting to supply them with certain types of uh, military equipment. And this way here, they can fight the war. We don't have to put boots on the ground. I do get that. Um, I have a huge problem with the price tag, though. Um, $33 billion? Now, why isn't the government sitting back and looking at the global picture here and see that, well, you know what? Uh, we're not getting any goods or anything from China because they're under a lockdown. Nobody's working. They're not making stuff. They're not shipping stuff. So maybe we need to take $33 billion and put that into our own country and start making a lot of the goods that we need on a daily basis here. And then we could care less if the ships get loaded or they don't. Who gives a shit, right? Point being, I understand we have to help out a little bit here, you know, with the whole thing that's going on across the water. And it's to our benefit to keep our boots on this soil, not that soil. But the price tags just keep going up. It seems like every other week, they want another so many billion here, so many billion there, so many billion here. Now, you know, I mean, it's just a huge mess. They're brewing the perfect storm. They have something in plan for us. And they're going to be executing it very, very soon, folks. I'm telling you. All right. This whole thing with uh, Shanghai and with all the ports and nothing being moved and everything else, you know, and everybody's just kind of like, you don't hear about it in the news. You don't hear about, you know, a lot of um, anything taking place. But mark my words, down the road, this is going to come back and bite us. And there's not going to be stuff in the stores to buy, whether it be food or whether it be any types of supplies and everything else. Remember, mm -hmm. there is still a 10 can shortage that is taking place because we import all that from china to put all our stuff from dog food to vegetables to meats and everything else in your canned good aisle 
that's where the cans come from, folks. We don't make them here. We have to import them. Really? Now we're getting over to the drought. Now, in case you all didn't know, because you really haven't heard too much about this stuff on the news, the drought is still taking place. It's still going on, and it is stronger than ever. So it's going to be a very, very difficult season this year out there uh, for any of the farmers, anything else, to get a good harvest, probably even to get stuff to grow if they don't start getting rain or something because you can put a seed in the ground, but if you can't get it watered, it's useless. You might as well not even plant it. But wouldn't that be right up the alley of uh, uh, the government and Bill Gates not wanting any of the farmers and stuff to plant anything, any grains or anything else? That's right up their wish list. I'm telling you folks, there's a lot of stuff going down. You know, we had the uh, stock market on uh, Friday it was just like, <laughs> it just crashed. You know, I mean, it just took a huge dump. You know, um, it was down 900 and what, 40 points. Uh, a few days before that was down another 900. NASDAQ wrapped up its worst month in year, nearly 14 years. Um, now they're talking a recession. Uh, now they're saying that the feds are going to have to raise rates and keep raising rates to try to get things in check. And then what turns around and happens with that, if we go into a recession, you know, people are going to start losing their jobs. Companies will start closing and we go back to square one. You see how I'm going with this? Everything is out of control and nobody wants to rein it in. And they don't want to rein it in for a reason. What is that reason? They want control. And they're going to try to get control however they can get it. So this whole thing with everything that's going on is just incredible. You know, I mean, the, the, whole, the whole part of everything that is taking place if that doesn't want you to be a prepper if it doesn't make you feel like you need to be doing something to be counterproductive in this time when everything is going south do you really think that the government's going to be there to back you up and have your back and make sure that you have food and a roof over your head and everything else you're wrong it ain't going to happen, folks. You know, we've already seen meat shortages. There's dairy shortages. There's egg shortages. There's all this stuff that's going on. And it's only going to get worse. You know, egg prices are through the roof. Dairy, meat. I mean, you've all been to the store. Even if you don't have shortages, you've been to the store, you see the prices. A lot of people just can't afford to pay it anymore. And maybe that's where your dog and cat food's going because they can't afford the regular food. So maybe they're eating dog and cat food. Wouldn't be the first time that's been done in history. So in closing, the one thing that you can do to help yourself and your family be ready for when they're done brewing this pot of coffee and they start to pour it is you need to be prepared. You need to make sure that you are doing all that you possibly can do to avoid when that last drop hits the bottom of the cup. Because at that point, it's game over and you are going to be very, very sorry if you're not prepped and ready to weather this storm out. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope everybody out there stays safe. You keep prepping. Thank you for everything that you do for this channel. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.